Captain's Log, Stardate 2023.01.30. I've never really made a response video before, but um, I'm, I, um, Robert Meyer Burnett is beloved to me. He really is. And I am proud to be part of his post-geek singularity. And, um, but I want to start this off with saying ID. I see an infinite diversity is infinite combination. This is a medallion I have. I wore for a while. I bought it off of Etsy. I am a 50 year old generation two original Star Trek fan. I grew up an inch away from the television. Uh, and I knew Star Trek before I knew Star Wars. And I am, I'm very thankful for Star Trek. I can, I identify with Spock, you know, so LLAP, IDIC, and Eid Plebnista as well from the Omega Glory. You know, Eid Plebnista is we the people, you know, Eid Plebnista, you know, but I just want to show, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's a reaction video, but. I mean, I hope Robert doesn't get too much crap from the broken-hearted Star Trek fans. I am one of those broken-hearted Star Trek fans, yet I'm giving a respect Rob's verve, his aplomb, his pluck, his hope. I'm not going to shit on someone's hope. I'm not going to do that to Rob. I love him. And uh, yet I'm not going to join him. I, I don't know whether or not he is currently <clears throat> blocked on Twitter by Star Trek on P+, which is Paramount Plus's Star Trek Twitter. Star, you know, that's where you go to pay a subscription. It's a streaming service. And I've been blocked by them on Twitter since they were CBS All Access. And this is going back to the Picard Season 1 days. Uh, where I just agreed with Red Letter Media, and I said this is this looks like torture porn, out of a out of out of an Eli Roth hostile movie. I mean, Star Trek was something you could put your kids in front of. Literally, my mom trusted Star Trek enough to put me in front of, and it was a show made, you know, for you know all ages with you know especially with kids included. Would you put your f child in front of? Picard season two, I mean Picard season one rather, I mean, and just then comes story things, you know, being that sad part of fandom as co-writer Michael, he's he's long gone too, Michael Chabon, long gone, long long gone, but still he represented the the product and the brand and to hear things about that that sad corner of fandom, you know, talking about us calling us toxic fans because we just don't like the new direction. We don't like the new stuff. But who am I? I'll show you. Well, this is me, Shalali. This is the O'Sullivan Shalali. Okay, I am Irish, American, second generation Irish American, born here. But I grew up with grandparents from the old country. This is my grandfather's Shalali. Okay, now I'm not making a direct association, but I also identify with Klingons, honor-bound, pugilistic. I mean, they remind me of the Irish, you know, you know, good or bad with stereotypes and fighting and drinking and honor and lusty women and strong, lusty women, <laughs> strong, combative, lusty women. Did, but, uh, <laughs> but I digress. Uh, this is my grandfather's Batleth, Kapla. And uh, let me just point out a few things in my, my background, my car, my, my by the background of every show I have, Robert Meyer Burnett actually turned me on to the word Eagle Moss and, and the, the words Eagle Moss and Sola Chagokin. And uh, also has given me a new appreciation for physical media. So I respect and I love Robert Meyer Burnett. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not, I'm sorry, Rob. I'm not buying. I, I've been blocked. If they can unblock us all, and have a sense of forgiveness and going forward and inc inclusiveness. I mean, sure, I would love to be part of this. 
I would pay a subscription for Paramount Plus and catch maybe all those other shows like the Yellowstone. Or is it Jellystone? Uh, or or, or <laughs> you know what I mean. But I, I, I'm not going to watch anything on Paramount Plus. Anything. Why? Because uh, you have the audacity to block me on Twitter for having a, 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 an, a, an a opinion that wasn't radiantly positive. I mean, there is no harm in my intent. And I can... Uh, who am I? As a Star Trek fan, who am I? Huh? What? I don't have any right. I don't have any entitlement. What I have is this, though. This over here is the, the 50th anniversary Blu-ray box set of the original series that I grew up with, containing seasons one, two, and three, and the entire animated series that I loved. I love the original music. Do, 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 do. It's, it's just a little bit different than the, the TOS theme. And I love that. It was, it was kind of like season four, in a way, for me personally. And it also, that contains all the original series movies, including... Um, no, up to, not including generations, not including generations. So it has Star Trek's one through six. Um, no, and it does not have the director's cut of the motion picture, unfortunately, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. All right. And, um, this is the DVD complete Star Trek, the next generation, which I started watching in 1987 when it premiered. Same with Deep Space Nine. This is the complete DVD collection. Complete also here, com the, the uh, Star Trek Voyager, the complete DVD series. This is a movie pack of, of of the. It has Star Trek Generations, First Contact, Insurrection, and Nemesis. So these are the the next generation feature movies. Then comes I've got uh, Blu-rays. I could only, this is how I bought it off of Amazon because I couldn't, you know, find a complete set. But I've got seasons one, two, and three of Enterprise on, on Blu ray. And I've got the season four DVDs of Enterprise, uh, DVDs. And so hopefully, maybe Robert Meyer Burnett's, um, you know, documentaries or, or, or interview tracks are in part of my physical media. And behind that, now, here comes another RMB word, is uh, uh, Eagle Moss. So I have behind me, and uh, these are the small Eagle Moss, and Eagle Moss actually folded as a company, so these things are rocketing in prices, no pun intended. I mean, when the Battlestar Galactica is up there, I think that, you know what I mean, that's, that's like, and I got the, the Eagle Transporter, which was one of the last things that they produced, but I've got the the TOS. 1701, no bloody A, B or C. <laughs> then I have the refit, the Constitution refit. That's the A. We have the uh, the Galaxy Class Enterprise D from the Next Generation show. We have the NX-01 Enterprise from uh, Star Trek Enterprise. We've got the Voyager right here. We've got Reliant. And if art imitating life or life imitating art, I dropped it while cleaning it and a cell broke off. Just like getting shot off in uh, Wrath of Khan. Over here, I've got uh, the Enterprise C. I've got the Ambassador class, Enterprise C, from the, yesterday's Enterprise. It was in one episode. Um, I've got Deep Space Nine, a.k.a. Tarek Nor. I've got the Enterprise B, the modified um, Excelsior class. I've got the Enterprise E from the movies. I've got the USS Stargazer. I've got the ISS Defiant from the Mirror Universe, and I've got the USS Grissom to represent the Oberth class ship. And I also have a, a binder, the, and these Eagle Moss also come with either a magazine or digest size little, uh, um, little magazine uh, with, with, with tech specs, and then, like, you know, behind the scenes stuff. So it was like in universe history, and then behind the scenes production stuff. Great stuff. These, these Eagle Moss are just. Wonderful. And it's all Robert Meyer Burnett's fault that I know what an Eagle Moss is. So, sorry, Rob. I'm not going to partake of season three of Picard 
and I understand that you have all the faith and intention of wanting to get us back in. But how am I supposed to want to spend money with them? You say all the time, it's not show friends, it's show business. How am I supposed to want to spend? I'm not talking about high seas. I don't even want to give them my attention or, or, or give them the satisfaction of me looking at it. I mean, I just, I have hurt feelings. How are you supposed to compete with this? I mean, I've been blocked by a corporate entity. For And, and I, who am I as a fan? Am I a lifelong fan? Do I, I mean, I have no privilege or entitlement. All I have is just like, I, I, I don't like this stuff. I mean, like, you know, why are you making it like this? I mean, there are many answers to that question, many opinions. But what I know is what I have. If Star Trek on P Plus were to give a blanket forgiveness to all of us sinners and include us, I would be down for paying a subscription for Paramount Plus and I will watch Picard Season 3 with you, Rob. I don't know if you're currently blocked or unblocked by P Plus. And you've had a pretty, you know, you know, that this is the whole thing. Like you're you, You've kind of like you know been a a big voice of of our our hurt feelings for the past several years, and um, you know so there are a lot of just different people being like, what the heck is up with him? Rob's full of hope. Rob's full of good intentions. Rob knows a good thing when he sees it. He's got a trained eye. He's good at this. I would love to be able to enjoy this Star Trek adventure with you, Rob. I cannot. My honor will not allow it. And that's that. Thank you so very much. Like and subscribe. I'm a huge Star Trek fan. I got a a, a playlist I'll put down here. It's just it's just me showing off my Eagle Moss one at a time. And I thank Robert Meyer Burnett for introducing me to Eagle Moss. Please live long and prosper. Remember always, Eid Plibnista. Eid Plibnista. We the people. This matters for the Yangs and the Cons, or it doesn't matter at all. And always, ID. I see. Sorry. An infinite diversity is infinite combinations. This is the gift of the Vulcans to me, the gift of Gene Roddenberry, who helped format my, my mind and uh, my heart. Thank you very much, Rob. Keep them coming. And um, cheers. Bye-bye.